Hi everyone, my name is Audrey Richards and I am running to represent Missouri's 7th District in Congress as an independent candidate. And today we're talking about something you've heard about in the news recently, and that is the U.S. Postal Service. I love USPS, and you know why? Because they're freaking awesome. They deliver places that nobody else will deliver, okay? And so whenever people up in D.C. and who live in big cities are like, oh my gosh, what's the big deal about the Postal Service? It's like, um, maybe because you've never lived in a rural area in your life, but you at UPS and FedEx don't deliver to residential addresses that are out in the freaking boondocks. You know who does? The U.S. Postal Service. Like a boss. So... Just to give you a more like broad view of how the U.S. Postal Service is freaking awesome, uh, they have a larger domestic networking infrastructure than Walmart, Starbucks, and McDonald's combined. Yeah, let that sink into the noggin, okay? They're massive. Their infrastructure is literally irreplaceable. So then you also have to recognize the fact that they employ 7.3 million Americans. Okay, 7.3 million people. Like, if you were to get rid of the post office, that's 7.3 million people who no longer have jobs. 97,000 of whom are veterans. Did you know that? Probably not. I didn't know that until about 15 minutes ago. <laughs> but you also have to recognize that they process $2.2 billion in salaries and benefits every two weeks. $2.2 billion. I mean, the, the economy is partially dependent upon the U.S. Postal Service just in terms of, like, them paying their people because that's so, so much spending capital that they have. And I just really freaking love the Postal Service. I have a very large emotional attachment to it. And uh, let me tell you why, okay? Look here. I brought props this time, y'all. I brought props. So, um, first of all, I want, to see, I want you to take a look at these. I have every single card my mom has ever sent me through the mail, okay? These date back to 2009, okay? So anytime that I'm like, oh man, I'm feeling really down, I can think about all the cards that my mom sent me. There's there's at least two dozen in here, y'all, okay? And then, let's see, here. They, all of these in here, these are from my friend Peyton, whom I haven't seen since high school, okay? But we keep in touch, how do we keep in touch? The freaking postal service, man. So then, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the more fun ones, right? Um, this one right here, sorry, we're gonna cover up the yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. Um, This one right here is actually, I don't know if you can see, the postmark is from New Zealand. It's from my friend in New Zealand, as in like halfway around the world, New Zealand, completely different hemisphere, New Zealand. You know who delivered this crap to me? US Postal Service. All right, this one right here is from my friend Alyssa, whom I haven't seen in two and a half years. This is something she sent me in a birthday box. And note the Captain America sticker. She knows me. 12 seconds later. And we've got um, this right here. This is a Christmas card from my friend in Florida whom I haven't seen since 2014. So it's like, what, six years? And she sent me a postcard. It doesn't make a wig. Come on. This is so freaking cool. Um, finally, my last bit of props. Courtney, the one who sent me the um, that wig and postcard. Look at this. Look at all of the letters that we have exchanged. And you know how all of these came to me? The United States Postal Service. Okay, like, I, I can't even begin to tell you. Um, this is from the UK. <laughs> My camera lady is like, Audrey, nobody freaking cares. But just like, can I tell you how much this means to me, okay? I would see her maximum once a year, okay? She would come down to, to DC or I would go visit her in St. Louis or, um, wherever and it was just like wow Courtney is like a really good friend but I only get to see her once a year right we were able to keep in touch like so well through the U.S. Postal Service I was literally a bridesmaid in her wedding okay like and the only reason we were able to remain or to, or to maintain that friendship is because of the United States Postal Service like you understand it literally changes your life if you use it as much as I do and as much as my friends do, because it's important. It's the easiest way, it's literally the easiest way to show somebody that you care, because there's nothing like more satisfying in like day-to-day -day life than just going to the mailbox and pulling out something that's not a freaking bill or an advertisement. You're like, oh my gosh, what did I get from the Cayman Islands? Ah, oh, it's from Courtney. Oh, she's telling me about how lovely the Cayman Islands are. I wish I could go get the Cayman Islands, but I can't because everything's freaking closed. <sighs> Anyway, I'm totally handling this quarantine really well. <laughs> uh, it's fine. It's fine. Anyway, I just want to like, I just want to mention to everybody that the United States Postal Service is a valuable service. 
It is probably the single most valuable service that the United States government has. It's one of the oldest. It is by far the largest infrastructure in the entire country. Um, they will deliver everywhere from Alaska to uh, Key West to freaking Kimberling City, Missouri, man. It's, that's, that's where my mom's saying half my mail, okay? You've got to understand that the people who are telling you the post office sucks are the people that don't need it. The people that tell you the post office sucks um, just don't understand the fact that life happens in rural America. And just because they don't see it doesn't mean that those people are not important. 20 minutes later. Everything is interconnected and like my life, like, like my mail is falling apart. <laughs>